It is raining. Good morning. Um, nothing unusual then. Rain, rain, <laughs> rain. <coughs> Let's start October the way we mean to go on, shall we? Oh my God, did we even have a summer? Because um, I can't remember it, to be perfectly fair. I know we had a bit of a rubbish one anyway, but Jesus, give us a break. Um, we can't be in for another wet winter. Anyway, let's think positive. Um, hello, Lola. Even the dog's fed up with it now. Come here, darling. So, just done school run <clears throat> and now on the way back to the yard where I'm supposed to be doing a couple of lessons. Well, um, we'll see if, if they still want them. Um, I'm not sure it is easing off. I'm trying to convince myself it is. And then we've got the girls hopefully are going to be riding one over the other yard, hacking out a couple. And then when I get over, we're going to give a couple of jump again. Um, not sure why we keep bothering, like, schooling and doing things with the horses, because nobody seems to want them anyway. Um, I mean, it's, I might as well just chuck them in the field, to be honest, and um, sell them from the field the way I'm going, because that seems to be the way people are going about things. Um, anyway, yeah, it's as joyous as it always is. But let's not let the weather get us down. I'm still convinced the horses are going to find the right homes. We've had a few viewings, just not not the right ones for the horses. Um, yeah, it's tricky at the moment, really tricky. Um, I don't know, it's very strange. Anyway, so we're just back at the yard now and um, we're going to get wet. Hopefully it clears up for the rest of the day, but I doubt it very much. Okay, uh, lessons cancelled. Because actually, who wants a lesson in this? Lola in. Um, go on. Oh, no, no, it's that way. So, loaded up with some rugs. Off over to the other yard. Might as well do some hacking out in the rain. I might as well join the girls on one of them. Hey, Ed. Timbo. Go on, good lad. You lead in being big and brave, eh? There's a good boy, Ed. Yeah. yeah. The witch. Oh, I know. I love the autumn. bit of training. <laughs> You're right, Ed. Yes, Ed. That's nice. That's it. Keep him down. Low as you can get him. Perfect. Oh, good boy. Because when he's dropped, he's lovely. That's really nice. Hey, Beef. <laughs> cool. Okay, we'll have a canter on this rain. You've ridden him in here before, Amara. He's got a big, huge canter, so really hold him together around the corners. Hey. <laughs> you 
He's just a fun one, isn't he? Good, that's good. Just hold him together. Right, let's go. Good boy. Lovely. Oh, good boy, Pomba. He was nice and relaxed, though, Mara. Come, Pomba. Good. Go for the cross pole again. Bit more effort. Good. And keep coming to your vertical. Good. Okay. Good. That was nice. Good. Good. That was all right because he chipped in. Just keep leg on. Hold, hold. Perfect. And just hold them but keep your legs on and just sit up. Good, that was nice. So just look at your fence. Keep the leg on. Don't go forward. Leg, leg. There we go. Perfect. No, that was a perfect shot. Hold him. Sit up, Amara. Sit up, sit up. Well done. Okay, keep going if you can. Good. Okay, just slow him down now. Give him a chance to think. Slowly. Okay, leg, leg, leg. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Come on, Beef. That's it. Really get after him, but don't let him run with you. That's it. Feel the energy, but don't let him run. Good, good, good. Now steady. Get your balance. Sit up, Amara. Go. Good. Sit up. Well ridden. Good. Sit back. Good. Okay, get your balance. Come, Beeb. Sit up, leg. Good. Perfect. Give him a pat and we'll leave him at that. Well done. Good boy. We're back home. Look here. You want to go out? <coughs> Crazy dog. So, off she goes for her run down the drive, daily walk. Um, so, we've just come back from over at the rehab yard which has been quite eventful um sun's come out now we're actually heading home um the boys hacked out really well we took ed and sage and who else do we take timone um <clears throat> so that was nice we went round through the village there's a dog and then we came back to jump beaver and pumba um which was a little bit eventful i'm sure about the seeing the filler for the first time and um, poor Maisie took a little bit of a tumble off him but um, yeah it's kind of the thing but it's always a little bit tricky the first time they ever see fillers and things like that because especially when they're used to jumping and then they've got this bright thing stuck under a pole um, they will quite often just have a little nose at it which is exactly what um, Beaver went and did um, so it was an important lesson learned that you don't kind of don't go until the horse jumps the fence and then you can go with them at these early stages because if we trust them a little bit too much and they chip in and the head goes down <coughs> we go down quite rapidly unfortunately um, Maisie did end up on the pole so well, they are all there um, <coughs> so that was a little bit painful for her um, but you know, we all we all take a tumble now, and she's she's doing fine. She's going to 
use the Lumina and the handheld equissage and hopefully settle any back pain down um, which is actually great as having the devices because to be perfectly honest they really do they get used as much on the horses well as much on us as they do on the horses um, and they do work so that's why we use them um, I'm just getting back now a quick stop before I go in for lunch hi we? hello guys hello I'm coming <laughs> somebody's a little bit hungry bless them hello hello oh you're gobbling it up this morning well lunchtime isn't it Not for you lot. So a little stop off to see the swans. Um, and then back home. I think oh, there we are. Hey Spidey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the cat's like, let me in. He hates this kind of weather. Wet and damp. Right, that's us done. Empty the car out. Got that many coats in here now. I might actually leave that big thick one in, in the boot. Well, it should be fine. I don't know what the weather's going to do. Bring it in. Anyway, decisions, decisions. Well, it has been a long day. Um, and it's now 25 minutes to midnight. And I am just about... Actually, I'm nowhere near finished what I should be doing at all. Um, I've been, yeah, messaging, doing some videos of the horses, doing a bit of editing for this video. Um, then I saw an email where I haven't replied to some things from Marshall um, for a trip that he needs to go on, which should have been done by Monday. So I'm now printing those off and filling those in. Um... Oh, there's just not enough hours in the day so we are seriously going to have to get these horses rehomed the ones that that cannon are ready um i've got to work really hard on finding people for them um because they're so lovely and so sweet and they'll be perfect for everybody but anyway i'm gonna get back to finishing off everything so that i can at least get some sleep tonight and um off we go again for tomorrow morning. Um, so on that note, good night everybody and I'll see you soon.